Okay, so hello everybody. This is Loretta coming at you with another video, and I sure do appreciate you guys watching. Anyway, those that have been following me know that I joined this awesome club called The Button Farm. If you guys decide to join, please mention me, because I'll get a discount on one of my kits if I do. If, if you mention me, Loretta Harwell, if you mention that you heard about it through me. I'd really appreciate that. Anyway, let's get on to this mini. I am so excited. It is so cute. It's with the brand new line that was just released at CHA. And it's by Farmhouse. And they're a brand new company. And this is called the Fair Skies Collection. And it is the Dawn and the Dusk Papers. And you guys stay tuned to this video because I actually had enough supplies left over to make another mini. Yay! And I still have leftovers that I could use for cards and things like that. But anyway, let's get started. I just think this mini is so, so cute, you guys. Look, I hope you can see all the dimension on this. It's just adorable. I love it. I love the colors. I love the mini book itself. I love everything about it. So, I'm just going to get started. Hopefully, I can stay in frame here as I open the book. Doesn't look like I'm going to be able to stay all the way in frame, but pretty close. Let's see if maybe I can back up just a little bit where I can get it all in frame. Sorry about this, you guys. Anyway, it's just about all in frame. This is the first little layout, and I did leave this open underneath so that something can be slid in there. And um, it also uses the Tim Holtz, the new Tim Holtz label holders, which I just love this. I'm going to scoot this over just a little bit so you can see. Isn't this cute? This little chipboard balloon, and I entitled it Boundless. Reality has limits. Imagination is boundless. So I, I entitled this Boundless. And it does have up here a little tag that pulls out um, for photos. And I added that. I, I followed the directions for the most part. But I did make several modifications just because... I wanted to be able to get some extras into the book. Alright, and so then this is the next page. Isn't it cute with the banner? And the banners are popped up. And the little um, label says, Capture Life's Moments. And then this little layout here, I did leave open on this side in case I want to slip something up under there. And that paper is really cute for journaling too. I just love all the layering in this book. I just think it's so, so cute. Again, love the little hot air balloons. I just think they're so cute. A journey awakens the soul is what that one says. And then look, you guys, this is so cute. See how it's got a little envelope? So you can undo the envelope. I haven't made tags for it yet, but I will um, probably make tags. It just depends on what I decide that I'm going to put in this book. But anyway, I just love it. It's, I, I went ahead and added in the clouds and because of the little hot air balloons. And then on the other side, I just think this is so cute. And there's room. I left this open right here. And there's room right here for a couple photos. And on this page, I did um, modify this so that these flip open in order to give additional room for photos and or journaling. You could even put a large, large photo here and then littler photos there, which I just love it. I just, I just love how this turned out. And this is the next layout. And then again, I did modify this so that these could flip up and give more room for photographs and journaling. Love this layout. Isn't this adorable? I don't remember if I left any of this open. I don't think I did. Anyway, live in the moment. And again, you guys, absolutely everything that you need to complete this book comes with the kit. Isn't it cute? I just love it. I just think it's so adorable. 
and then here again is another envelope and which I have not made a tag for yet but I may make a tag for it in the future here's another page with a cute little banner with the pop-ups on the phone dots which I love and here again I did make some modifications to this page so that these will flip up so that I can get just a few more photos in there room for a nice large photo here and a date or what have you right there um, again modified this so that these will flip open for more photographs and then flip over here love the chipboard elements you guys I just it's just so cute and this is enjoy the journey and then the little back of the the album and then when you close the album I want to show you guys I went ahead and added that just for some decorative interest and you guys have seen the front then on the side panel I just put that there and I may or may not add a title right here just depending on what I do and then on the back of it you guys I just loved it it's got this debossed farmhouse emblem right here and I just used some of the cardstock stickers right here and then I actually utilized the packaging because I thought it was so cute with the farmhouse paper company so anyway that's that many and as I told you guys, I had enough paper left over to make my partner for this month um, at the Free Spirit Sister Swaps a little mini, mini of that mini, if that makes sense. A mini, mini. <laughs> anyway, so this is the mini that I made of the items that I had left over. And I'm just going to scoop this out of the way so that it's not distracting. Anyway, sentimental, and it's really a lot the same, so I'm going to flip through it pretty quickly. But, um, I left this open again, and this back here has room for, um, tag behind it. And right there, again, left this open so that if she wants to put a photo in there. And I did, um... I did do a pocket page at the top of these right here that, um, let me see if I can do it this way, where she can get some more um, photos and or journaling. So I did go ahead and, and make a couple of, you'll see, um, that have the tab up here. Those are the ones that pull out. And then this is the, which says beautiful. And then I had some Maya Road envelopes that I included in the album so that she could make tags or put whatever she would like because I really did like the envelope um, idea that was in the other mini. So I just sort of went with that. And there's another little layout. I just had this in my stash and thought it matched real well so I went ahead and added it. And here again, I've done the flip outs so that she can use some smaller pictures here with a large picture in the back. And again, these flip out here just kind of went with the same idea. Take chances, make memories. And I just added a little flower there just to give it a little bit more visual interest and added a couple of craft doilies right here to the envelope to add a little bit of visual interest um, Fair Skies Drifter I just went ahead and utilized part of the paper line for my title right there and here again these open to try to provide some more opportunities for photographs and here again whoops, this page right here a tag pulls out of so she can go ahead and utilize that for some extra photos or journaling or whatever she would like I just 
made that a pocket page and use some more little chip pieces here and the stickers and here again these both open up so that she can utilize that for photos and then that's the last page and here again with this book I put a little paper on the spine so that she can add a title later if she'd like to and I utilize the farmhouse paper again for the back of the book so anyway these are my two button farm books um, which I just think turned absolutely adorable and I hope you guys like it if you have any questions at all or any comments um, just leave me a, just let me know and please do leave me a comment and thanks again you guys for watching I appreciate it until next time bye now